Four months after a Siouxland man lost his life in a propane explosion, his family is still searching for answers as authorities continue to look for a suspect. They say someone caused the leak inside Earl Thielander's home when they stripped copper just like this from his pro propane tank. Now this amount of copper is worth just about 10 bucks, but it ended up costing a life. Something will come up and I'll say, i got to tell Dad this. And then you think, well, no, Dad's gone. What a wonderful person that he took away from us, from his wife and 11 kids. With 40% of his body covered in third-degree burns, 80-year-old Earl Thielander died in an Omaha burn center on September 1, 2007, days after an explosion inside his home. Since their dad's passing, Doug, his sister Vicki, brother Byron, and the rest of the Thielander family have banded together in a search for justice. Dad died a senseless, painful death because some thief went in for, you know, a few dollars worth of copper. They cut a gas line and he left the house. He didn't shut the gas off, didn't call anybody to say there was a house filling up with gas. So there was no way this was going to end well. You know, I know the guy didn't plan it this way, but you've got to be accountable for your actions. Law enforcement has been real diligent about um, following up on leads and everything. Immediately after Thielander's death, the Monona County Sheriff's Department conducted 25 interviews. And although the case remains active today, the sheriff is less hopeful that it will ever be solved. We really uh, have worked a lot of man hours and not being able to get it solved and not having any cooperation from the public to get it solved. Um, we're not hearing any information, and that's what makes it hard. The person who did this could be long gone, but the Thielanders believe someone in the area knows who it is. That's why we came up with this reward, because I know somebody knows. And if hearing this family's heartache doesn't weigh heavily on someone's conscience, sooner or later this is going to come to haunt them. Maybe $5,000 will. The family's got posters pinned up across Iowa and Nebraska asking for information about the case and offering a reward. This reward isn't going to get any bigger. Sitting back and waiting, you know, six months thinking the reward's going to get any bigger is not going to happen because we are not going to let that happen. Now, because copper thievery has become a growing problem, now especially here in the Midwest, the Department of Homeland Security and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms have gotten involved in this case. They're running intelligence operations. If you have any information, you can report it anonymously. Just call the number on your screen. It's 1-800-859-1414.